Hello friends, welcome to ElectroPixels. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notification. Welcome friends. This is a 24-inch LG LED TV. In this TV the complaint is standby red light one-time blinking problem. Mostly these types of complaints are mainly due to main IC in the motherboard. So here we are going to replace the TV motherboard with alternate LCD, LED universal motherboard since the default original new motherboard is not available. Here the default motherboard works on 19 volt DC adapter. But the working voltage for the universal board is 12 volt. So here we find out 12 volt input VCC in this SMD capacitor. Here we soldiered green wire as 12 volt input VCC. Also black wire with ground. Here in this TV the LED backlight driver is in original motherboard. Otherwise for installing universal board for getting backlight we need to fix additional LED backlight driver board. Here we do a small modification 28 pin of this inverter IC as the backlight enable pin so the orange wire we connected to backlight enable in universal board. Also while performing this simplest modification method for installing the universal board, using the components in original motherboard we need remove the EPROM memory IC from the original motherboard. Otherwise the modification will not work properly. Also here we are using the default IR sensor for the universal board. But here the IR sensor will get the input VCC from the default motherboard. We need to connect only IR out signal and LED signal connection to the universal board. Also finally the speaker wires. Here this panel works on 12 volt input VCC. So we connected suitable LVDS cable. Now before going for the final installation let's check the picture. For that we need to connect the adapter to the default motherboard. Finally here you can see backlight comes along with picture, by using the default LED backlight driver. In this condition we can now goes to final installation process. Finally here we fixed the universal board in a box. Now all sockets are connected. Now again let's connect the DC adapter and check the picture, see now the TV is turned on. But here you can notice LVDS mapping fault. We solve it by entering to the service mode, after completing the entire installation process. See finally work is done here using this modification method. For installing universal board, no need for additional voltage reducer board, or additional LED backlight driver board. Now to solve mapping fault in this universal board, the service menu code is press input 208 on remote now in service mode go to panel settings then change the LVDS format. So that's it now work is done. Here you can see now we successfully repaired the TV. So that's it hope you like this video see you in another video with another interesting topics. If you like our channel please don't forget to like share subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. Thank you for watching.